Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure a Layer 2 switch and a router when PCs access the internet through the Layers 2 switch and router. As shown in the figure, PC1 and PC2 access the internet through a switch and a router. The gateway of PCs is deployed on the router and the switch provides only Layer 2 forwarding. The configuration roadmap is as follows. Configure an interface based VLAN assignment on the switch to implement Layer 2 forwarding. If the connected router interface is a Layer 3 interface, configure a VLAN termination sub-interface to implement communication with the switch. If the connected router interface is a Layer 2 interface, configure a VLAN IF interface to implement communication with the switch. The AR is used as an example. The configurations of other routers are similar. Let's move to the configuration procedure. First, let's see the configuration procedure of the switch. There are two steps. Step 1. Configure interfaces connected to PCs as access interfaces and add them to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, respectively. Step 2. Configure the interface connected to the router as a trunk interface and add it to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Let's see the configuration procedure of the router. When the router interface is a Layer 3 interface, there are four steps. Step 1. Configure a termination sub-interface. Before configuring a termination sub-interface, create the corresponding VLAN. Then configure a VLAN and an IP address for the termination sub-interface. In earlier versions of ARV2R3C00, ARP broadcast is disabled by default and needs to be enabled manually. In V2R3C00 and later versions, ARP broadcast is enabled by default. Step 2. Configure DHCP and DNS to allocate IP addresses and specify DNS server address to users. Here, the interface address pool is used to allocate IP addresses. The configured DNS server address is a public one. In practice, use the DNS server address allocated by a carrier. Step 3. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the Internet and a static route. The static route is the default route, and the next hop address of the default route is 200.0.0.1. Step 4. Configure NAT so that Internet users can access the Internet. Here, NAT is only valid for source IP addresses on network segment 192.168.0.0. NAT can be directly used on GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 in the outbound direction. The configuration is complete. The Layer 2 interface configuration of the router is similar to the Layer 3 configuration. We only need to change the sub-interface configuration to the VLAN IF interface configuration. Step 1. Create a VLAN IF interface and assign an IP address to the VLAN IF interface. Step 2. Configure DHCP and DNS to allocate IP addresses and specify DNS server address to users. Step 3. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the Internet and a static route. Step 4. Configure NAT so that Internet users can access the Internet. Let's move to the operations. Step 1. Configure IP addresses and gateway addresses for PCs. The IP address of PC1 is 192.168.1.2 and the gateway address is 192.168.1.1. The IP address of PC2 is 192.168.2.2 and the gateway address is 192.168.2.1. Step 2. Configure an IP address and a gateway address for the PC on the public network. The IP address is 200.0.0.1 and the gateway address is 200.0.0.2. Step 3. Configure the switch. Run the VLAN batch command to create VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. 
add GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2 connected to PC1 to VLAN 2. And add GE0 backslash 0 backslash 3 connected to PC2 to VLAN 3. Add GE0 backslash 0 backslash 1 connected to the router to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. The switch configuration is complete. Let's see the router configuration. The router that uses a Layer 3 interface is used as an example. The Layer 2 interface configuration is similar to the Layer 3 interface configuration and is not mentioned here. Step 1. Configure a termination sub-interface. Create a VLAN and configure the VLAN and IP address. Step 2. Enable DHCP. Configure Gigabit Ethernet 0 backslash 0 backslash 1. Use the interface address pool and configure the DNS server address. Perform the same configurations on Gigabit Ethernet 0 backslash 0 backslash 1.2. Step 3. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the Internet and a static route. Assign IP address 200.0.0.2 to GE0 backslash 0 backslash 2. Configure a default route. Step 4. Configure NAT so that Internet users can access the Internet. The configurations of the Layer 2 switch and router are complete. Let's check whether functions are available. Check whether the user PC can ping the PC on the public network. PC1 and PC2 can ping the PC on the public network. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, See the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.